begin at the beginning, the very, very, very beginning. My dad is fucking my mom. <laughs> In a bed. You know, it's suburbia, Whittier. <laughs> now they are young, they are hot for each other. I'm trying to visualize this right now. <laughs> My dad, he's gonna come any minute. He's there thrusting. Now half of me is inside my father's dick. The other half of me is inside my mother's body somewhere. My biology gets a little bit vaguer at that point. Okay, my dad is gonna come at any moment. I'm thrown out of my father's penis into my mother's body. I'm surrounded by thousands of squirming figures. We're there, we're there. Is this what I've been waiting for? Cruising the cosmos. I'm swimming upstream. Oh, humble dog paddle. Oh, efficient crawl. Oh, stylish backstroke. I am swimming upstream as I would swim upstream throughout this life. One queer little sperm fighting the odds. <laughs> looking sperm that looks like Jesse Helms tries to, <laughs> he tries to catch me in a net. I elude him. An over-technocratic sperm with a stethoscope and a clipboard tries with a micrometer to measure my hypothalamus. I elude him as well. <laughs> Then a bunch of hulking macho swine bag sperm try to hustle me out of the way. They nudge me, call me sissy, pansy, fag. You'll never get an egg. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Clearly this is homophobia, right? My very first experience. <laughs> but I use my superior agility, fleetness, and sense of style. And I quickly jeté from plotting sperm forehead to sperm forehead. Quickly find a willing dyke ovum somewhere. <laughs> We reach consensus immediately. This is a fantasy sequence, remember? We agree to power share and then... Fertilize! There's an explosion of creative electricity, a shifting of queer tectonic place. Across the well of loneliness, past the sea beach where the boys are dancing, there's Gertrude Stein in a tutu, dancing with Nijinsky in a butt plug. They waltz, do a pas de deux, on the wings of an aircraft created by Leonardo, a snippet of Tchaikovsky in the air. The plane is piloted by Amelia Earhart. Where is she? And James Baldwin. James Baldwin goes like this as we fly over the island of Lesbos and we see Sappho beginning to put the moves on the cute woman carpenter who has come from Mykonos to build her a breakfast nook. <laughs> There's an angry fist, a puff of feathers, the off-the-shoulder Amazon look, the surface-to-air witticism, embodying the wisdom of goodness and goddess. We are there. The drums are building. The sperm is a fish. The egg is a rocket. Five, four, three, two, one, and eke homo. Behold the fag. <laughs> cry to the universe. Wah! The doctor spanks my butt. Wah! He spanks me again. Wah! I look back at him and I say, doctor, I won't be into that until I'm 25. Wah! With that first pre-erotic spank, I feel a wave of fear and body shame pour over me. But I fight back. I kick the doctor in the balls. I slip on my action equals life huggies. <laughs> My, we're here, we're queer, get used to a jumper. <laughs> and I'm surrounded in this nurse tree with many other queer babies. They shimmer, grow, burst from their diapers, come to adulthood, and some of them find their way to Highway's performance space in Santa Monica until I stand before you right now. <laughs> 